This is all a grand experiment. 800 pages, 900 pages, and 1,000 pages. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Labratt, and today we are talking about my August wrap up, what I achieved in August, basically, as well as looking ahead at September and what I want to accomplish during the first month of Millwordy. In July, I decided to take July as a break from my Project DE, which is my high fantasy, going to be serious to work on a brand new project because I hadn't drafted anything new in a very, very long time. The project that I worked on during July was a Hades and Persephone retelling that had to do with like mermaids. And it was a very, very fun project to like spend some time on and really just like get to start something new and really enjoy that excitement. But now that July is done and quite frankly, August is done, I really need to talk about what I accomplished in August. I did that because I wanted to take about a month off from my project DE to like let it rest because I had just reorganized the chapters and basically like intertwined them because leading up to that point, each of the three perspectives had been in three entirely different documents. And so when I finally got to rearrange the chapters, I decided to let it sit for a month, which was July. And then August I spent starting to reread and take notes on what needs to be changed. And quite frankly, I am currently on page 108 as of filming this video. And it's September 1st for at least when I'm filming this. <laughs> So while I had wanted to complete the reread in August, it did not happen. I am about halfway done with it. Ideally, it will only take me about another week to finish. So that is goal number one for September is to finish the reread of draft two of Project DE so that I can start on draft three. However, that being said, Millwordy is starting. That's a lot, like that is a whole lot. I had really, really hoped to be done with the reread on today or by today, which is September 1st so that I could launch into Millwordy and like not fall behind immediately. But um, we're gonna see what happens because I had really hoped to start the rewrite because that's the next thing that's gonna be happening with my Project DE in September is after I finish the reread and taking notes on the rewrite, I'm going to pull up a completely blank document next to the draft two that I'm currently rereading. And I'm going to go through it by chapter and by page and by paragraph completely rewriting from draft two into draft three, just to bring things up to where they really, really need to be on multiple levels, including like pacing. And a really big issue that I'm noticing with this reread is that the time of year and the time of day and stuff gets muddled a lot and is very confusing as kind of like jumping all over the place. And so I really need to like iron that out, smooth that out so that it is consistent. So basically I'm working on consistency. I'm working a little bit on character issues. I'm working on dialogue and inconsistencies as well as rewriting sentences and paragraphs that are too wordy or not wordy enough. Basically, I'm trying to completely improve draft two by rewriting it into draft three, trying to bring everything up at the same time. That being said, for half mil wordy, which is what I decided to do from September 1st of 2020 to August 31st of 2021, I need to either draft, rewrite, or edit 41,667 words. Where are these words gonna be coming from for the first week of September when I'm still doing this reread? I have no idea. This is all a grand experiment. Basically, what I'm trying to do is a lot. I am kind of thinking that to help fill these 41,667 words that I'm supposedly dealing with this month, that I should potentially go back to or work a little bit on my side project CBH, which is a sci-fi, which is kind of fun and different because project DE is a high fantasy. And so that would give me a little bit of a change of pace and allow me to work on drafting words, which would be cool and would help. At the very least, it would help me get closer to that 41-ish thousand words I have to write in September or deal with in September, which is really exciting. I am very excited to get back to that project. In addition to my writing goals for September and what I accomplished in August, I do wanna to touch on three other things, which are reading, YouTube, and my apartment. First of all, reading. I still have not finished a book this year. My goal is to read 12 books this year. I'm still in like a pretty severe 
reading slump and like have been now for like the past like two or three years because of college. But now I'm working on coming out of that and it's going better because I've actually read half of a book this month, which is way more than I've done in past months. This is the book I'm currently working on, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. It is the Hunger Games prequel and that is how far I am into it. Not quite, okay, it's not quite halfway, whatever. But it's getting really good. I am confident that I can finish this book in September. And then because I am hoping to finish this book in September, hopefully I will finish it before the end of September and then can start on another book. However, I do not know which book I'm going to read next. Um, these ones are the books that I was hoping to read at some point this year. However, it is 800 pages, 900 pages, and 1,000 pages. So like, I have started all of these and not gotten very far into them. But in a perfect world, after I finish this book, I'm either going to start on Kingdom of Ash because I still have not read it completely. I'm on like page 80. Page 176, I'm on page 176, my bad. Or Crescent City by Sarah J Mass, which I have the dust jacket sitting on my shelf somewhere. But this book is 800 pages. I am currently on 182. That's not right. That's definitely not right. <laughs> no. Well, that's really not right. I'm on page 13 in this book. All right, well, cool. This one would be easier to start over because I haven't gotten into it. Whereas this one I've started I don't know. Basically, whenever I choose to start reading any of these books, I will need to restart reading them just because I've been in a slump and I started these a while ago. Or my last choice for whatever I'm gonna read next in September is The Priory of the Orange Tree. And I am currently on page 51 in this book. But they're all huge. They're all absolutely monsters. They're monsters. They're absolute monsters. It's incredible. I love big books, but I love big books when I get into them and being a reading slump is not conducive to being sucked into a book. Something else that I really wanted to prioritize in August, but starting on like August 17th, so I'm gonna like fudge the line a little bit, was really organizing my apartment and really like completely moving in, finishing moving in technically because I've been here now for like four months. I've actually been living here for like three, but too long to still have like paintings on the floor right there, a cardboard box right there. You get the picture. I've been here too long, I need to get more moved in. So basically I'm kind of extending this goal <laughs> into September. I'm going, ugh, I don't know. I'm going to give myself all of September to completely move into my apartment because there's a chance that I put too big of a time crunch on it, giving myself two weeks to finish everything in addition to trying to reread my book. And so considering that I'm still trying to reread my book, I'm trying to start the rewrite of my book and I'm trying to get my apartment all put together, I think the end of September is a good date to end my apartment goal. <laughs> However, choosing to work on my apartment in August, one of the reasons that I gave myself that deadline was that I decided to post once a week instead of twice a week on my YouTube channel in August. August is now over. I miss posting twice a week, so we are going back to posting twice a week. I post on Mondays and Thursdays. If you guys do not follow me, you know where the subscribe button is. But I'm super, super excited about going back to twice a week because I... I mean, I'm doing the wordy. I'm trying to prioritize my creative projects again. I'm trying to prioritize... Huh. Reading again. And for the first time ever, I'm actually going to try and plan out my videos by the month. Not film them. Just kind of knowing which ones are going to be filmed and put up when, and also when live streams are, because September is a huge month, you guys. It's a huge month. A lot is happening in September. So I'm gonna put it on my calendar right here, just because it's fun to like be able to cross off. Even though I do mostly use my computer calendar for most of things that I'm involved in, this just seems fun. This is for my creative projects, that it was the intention, that's why I purchased it. So we are going to write posting dates and live stream dates on here right now, and then I will come back and wrap up.
All right, the lighting has changed because a storm is moving in, but I have seven live streams currently scheduled for September and only one of them so far is on my channel. I will probably schedule a couple extras to host on mine, but I am like so grateful already to everyone who's gonna have me on their channels. I am super excited about everything that August, August, no, <laughs> here in September, everything that September is going to bring, I'm very excited about it. So that is it for me today, you guys. Those are my September writing goals, my September uh, theoretical TBR, and just what I want to accomplish during this first month of my half mil wordy. Heck yeah. Okay, that's it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that little notification bell so you get reminded every time I upload a brand new video. I wanna know what some of your guys' goals for September are. I wanna know what you guys accomplished in August. So leave that down below in the comments. And you guys, we are back to that twice a week posting schedule on Mondays and Thursdays. And so I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye. Thank you.